enzalutamide and apalutamide both cross the blood-brain barrier, whereas darolutamide, I wouldn't say doesn't at all, but it does so, you know, much less. And it's thought that this may um, be partially responsible for some of the toxicities of fatigue, um, weakness, um, falls, etc. You know, and so, and and actually. You know, neither um, enzalutamide nor apalutamide, I, I think, have, there's not a good description for some of the things that these drugs do in terms of the central nervous system, but anybody who sees patients on these drugs knows sometimes they complain of bizarre dreams or strange thoughts. And um, so it could be that some of these things, if it's related to those drugs being in the brain, may not be apparent with darolutamide. So it's, it's, you know, we're not going to know the answer to that. Like, is darolutamide really better than these other two? I mean, they, they all look identical in terms of clinical outcome, you know, metastasis-free survival. But whether darolutamide is truly superior to these other two, and, and has less, to in terms of toxicity that is, we're not gonna know that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs>